This is an old Alpina 120 Pro. It's made in Italy. It's got a 25 inch bar on it with 404 chain. It's uh, pretty beat up. You can see the, uh, the clutch cover here. Um, it was, wasn't much to it when I bought it. I um, riveted some metal onto it and used some um, epoxy putty to form the rest of it just to keep the, the uh, wood shavings off from the muffler. You can see it's broken right here. It does start and run. Sometimes it starts pretty hard. Um, it cuts pretty good. Um, the bar was pretty beat up. I had to file it down. And I discovered um, through my research, you can't really find this bar anymore. It's uh, made by Oregon and they don't make it anymore. Um, I'll try to list the mount size um, in the comment section. But let me go ahead and start it up and you can see what it sounds like. Hopefully it will start. see it um, takes a little bit to start um, the carburetor adjustment doesn't want to um, seem to stay you have to keep on messing with the carburetor to get it to idle and then the next time you start it you may have to adjust it further um, this is where the air cover is this is the carburetor and and uh, it's an old saw when I, I first got it Took it apart. The, the piston was pretty scored. I uh, put new rings on it. Um, the cylinder is chrome plated and it was fairly worn. It had some chips out of it. Um, but other than that, it runs pretty good. I discovered the reason why the clutch cover gets so beat up on these things. It's because the crank on the clutch side has a right hand thread on the nut that holds the uh, clutch on. And so it backs off on its own. I had it come apart once on me. And so I um, used some Loctite and a lock washer on it, and it's been okay since then. Um, I'm not sure how often you can find these saws anymore. Um, the gas to fuel ratio is like 20 to 1. Um, some of the information I have says 16 to 1, but the uh, fuel cap says 20 to 1. Um, it's missing the safety uh, uh, lever for the trigger, but other than that, it's pretty much complete. Carburetor that came off this Alpina saw. You can see the intake manifold here has been melted. Um, apparently got real hot at one time. That's probably why it's so scored. And this, uh, I'm going to rebuild it. I sent out for a kit for it. And this is the uh, intake on the saw. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Um, I mean, with a piston. I don't know if you can see anything down there, but it's scored a little bit on the top. and It's really scored down at the bottom a lot. This is the carburetor for this Alpina 120. And this is the carb kit that I used on it. It's 
TRK23HS. This is an HS 144B carburetor. And it's running okay. It's running better than what it was. It's still uh, leaking a little bit out of the back um, of the carburetor here. And I don't know why. There's on the back cover of the carburetor, there's a hole. Um, actually, it's right here. There's a hole right there. I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm not sure if that's contributing to the leaking of it or, or what. It seems to be just coming out of the inside of the carburetor. Um, when it's uh, actually running, I don't think it's leaking at all. It's just when it's at idle. So, um, anyways, this is just an old saw. It works. It's pretty beat up, and hopefully it will run a little bit better now.